Hi, I'm Bob Winterbottom. I work at the World Resources Institute. Hello, my name is Barbara Best. I work at the E3 Bureau at USAID. And today I had the privilege to speak at the Earth Day event um, to talk about uh, how are we going to make progress in both feeding people and achieving greater food security in the world, but also conserving the ecosystems and doing it in a way that both produce more and, and do it more sustainably. Now food security really depends upon natural ecosystem productivity and the interrelationships between cultured and the natural ecosystems. USAID will be soon launching a new agency biodiversity policy which really embraces and recognizes the role of maintaining the ecosystem goods and services provided by natural systems. Uh, certainly uh, we, we recognize right here in the United States how what we do in our cornfields of Iowa has an impact on the fisheries and what goes on in the Gulf of Mexico, that changing agricultural practices, uh, adopting conservation tillage practices like that can go a long ways to making better use of fertilizer and reducing eutrophication and deg degradation of water quality that negatively impacts fisheries. Wild fisheries play a very important role for local food security, nutrition, incomes, as well as national economies in many of the countries where USAID works. And we've had significant progress in many programs showing that you can enhance food security, productivity, not just production, but long-term productivity by really engaging with the local communities, empowering them to become stewards of their own resources, and also applying modern fisheries management techniques, which help to conserve and protect the productivity of those natural systems. I think too that um, uh, as we think about the governance challenges and the incentives that need to shift in order to make it possible for those that have very limited choices that are striving to achieve greater food security to, to find ways to make it in their interest to invest in restoring degraded areas and bringing back ecosystems that have been degraded by inappropriate and unsustainable practices, how those areas can be made more productive and therefore help to reduce the pressure on some of the uh, great natural ecosystems that still provide so many services and, and, and we don't yet want to transform them into food production.